osmosis it is the flow of water through a semi permeable membrane from a solution of low solute concentration to a solution of high solute concentration let's understand this concept by an example suppose this is a jar containing two solutions solution 1 and solution 2 and in between them is a semi permeable membrane that are separating the two solutions solution 2 is purely water while solution 1 contains some solute molecules that cannot cross this that cannot cross this semi permeable membrane if we allow these solutions to stand for some time after some time we will see that water has moved from solution 2 to solution 1 this is because the solute particles in the solution 1 are causing an osmotic pressure inside the solution 1 this osmotic pressure is attracting water from solution 2 towards solution 1 this concept of osmotic pressure is applied in case of plasma proteins plasma proteins are present in the blood vessels they are not easily filtered through the blood vessels they are present within the blood vessels and they create an osmotic pressure inside the blood vessels that keep the water or plasma inside the blood vessels and does not allow the water to leak out in, in diseases in which plasma proteins are decreased the osmotic pressure caused by them in the blood vessels is decreased as a result water starts leaking out into the interstitial spaces causing edema for example in nephrotic syndrome the protein levels are decreased and edema is caused etc so we have learned that when solute particles are present they create an osmotic pressure which attracts water towards it as we have seen in this example and this movement of water through a semi permeable membrane is called osmosis